Almost three months ago, I put out a leak about the Switch 2 that really did make some waves online due to confirming basically everything you needed to know about the general specs and performance of the much-anticipated next-gen outing from Nintendo. And then, just a day later in a live stream, I leaked more specific details about the specs, details that have now been independently confirmed in other outlets, by the way, so you can take them to the bank. But then I, I also elaborated on why AMD lost the bid against NVIDIA for the console. And I actually suspect that that's something that many people have forgotten was included in those leaks. AMD bid against NVIDIA to make the Switch 2 APU, and they barely lost. But they did bid against NVIDIA, and the Switch uses ARM, and backwards compatibility is very important to Nintendo. So I think it's incredibly plausible and logical to have assumed that if AMD was bidding for the Switch 2, they were probably at least doing some early design work for an APU that might use ARM not x86. And heck, it might even be plausible to suggest that the K12 project, or some vestige of it, zombied on after Jim Keller left the company and accused AMD of killing K12. I mean, heck, it was still in leaked roadmaps after Jim left AMD. So yeah, with all of that in mind, I'm really not sure why I didn't consider back then that AMD was possibly already working on a modern ARM architecture for an APU for customers that demanded to use ARM instead of x86. I don't know why I didn't think about that back then, but what I can say now is this. They are, at least one of those APUs is going to use ARM, and it is called Soundwave. Now, Soundwave, I believe, was first leaked when some AMD employee listed it on their LinkedIn profile. And I do have to point out that it should have stuck out like a sore thumb back then with its entirely divergent naming scheme with a wave, not a point or something, in its name. And I would actually infer that this is likely the start of an entire family of generations of ARM AMD APUs that will take the wave moniker, not the point or halo moniker. But I don't know that for sure. So do take that as speculation that AMD would be planning to make multiple generations of this whole thing planned out. But I would infer that from seeing them use Wave instead of Point. And now I want to tell you what's not speculation, what I can 100% or at least very likely confirm about AMD's Soundwave APU. Let's not waste time. Let's put that quote slide right on screen about Soundwave. And yes, this is an early leak. I have limited information at this point, but I think it's big enough that it was worth putting out now because it is just such a big deal, I feel, that AMD is considering releasing an APU with a CPU that utilizes ARM instead of x86. Now, besides that, though, I can also confirm that the NPU is supposed to be very powerful in this thing, and that it is being purpose-built to win Microsoft Surface from Qualcomm. I can also tell you that it is supposed to have a 2026 release date, but this is really just a loose target here. Uh, what, I, what I can say is that it's a near 0% chance that Soundwave launches next year and that it could slip to 2027, but this thing is far enough out that I really can't give you anything more specific than probably launching in 2026. But then I can also tell you with a high confidence that there's a lot of attention being paid to this project by senior management. And from that, me and a couple of my sources infer that it seems like leadership's insisting on it progressing competently and quickly so that it doesn't end up like Strix, which of course I have already leaked numerous times, required delays for design changes, and really had a lot of problems. So I, I suspect that AMD believes timing will be extra important for Soundwave to be a success, and so they aren't afraid to kill the project if it starts fa falling behind schedule, and they don't want it to, so they're keeping close tabs on it and making sure the people working on it are the people they feel are the best people for the job. And so, yeah, that's most of what I can confirm about Soundwave right now. That information comes from a couple of key AMD sources that usually know about things before anybody else does, even if those other people work at AMD. These are people that usually know it before even other people at AMD. But, of course, I did reach out to a dozen other sources to see if, you know, anyone else knew anything, like asking vague questions like, what do you think about if AMD made an ARM APU and then see what their reaction was, see if they could independently say Soundwave or something. And I didn't get something like that, 
But I did get one of my other sources to say something that entirely backs up that AMD is working on an ARM APU. And I also got some really interesting feedback about what this might mean for the future of ARM SOCs with Intel and NVIDIA. And I want to talk about that. But first, an ad from Micro Center, who is a sponsor of this video. Micro Center is one of the best places to go to build a new PC. If you check out the links in the description, which remember even just clicking on those links below helps the channel a lot. You'll see tons of excellent deals out there right now on just about everything, including the most powerful CPU on the market for hundreds of dollars off. Uh, budget CPUs like the 5600X for $140. And even the best gaming CPU you can buy right now, the 7800X 3D, for just $340, and it comes with 32 gigabytes of RAM for free. Honestly, I would say don't wait for Zen 5. A $340 7800X 3D with free RAM is a better deal now. Even if Zen 5 overperforms, you could probably sell it, keep the RAM, get a Zen 5 CP, and you probably still would have saved money. So check out those deals right now below. And also don't forget that Micro Center has the Creelty Ender 3 S1 for $149. And they even have a news area right now that includes shopping guides, building tutorials, and other PC gaming how-tos. There's a link in the description that will bring you to that as well. And again, clicking on that link or any of the other links below, it really helps the channel. And shopping at a Micro Center after you do so helps even more. So support Moore's Law is Dead by supporting Micro Center today. All right, so when I took that initial Soundwave information to my other sources, most people either loved or hated the idea of AMD making an ARM APU, but besides that, they knew pretty much nothing. However, a handful of sources did have some really interesting stuff to say, and I do think it's worth sharing with you all. So without further ado, let me also put these reaction quotes uh, on screen from some of my sources. Now, the first one here is an AMD partner who said that, honestly, I think ARM Windows PCs are going to be huge. I really suspect that the main reason AMD and Intel were ignoring ARM for so long is simply because it didn't work well with Windows. But I do think that is rapidly changing. I do think there is some truth to that. And not just that it doesn't need to improve anymore. I still think, you know, making ARM efficiently work with the Windows operating system does still need a lot of work. But I feel like Microsoft is telegraphing that they are going to keep putting in the work. And I don't feel like they really proved they were a decade ago, but now they are. Now, a second source here, this person from Intel that I thought would be interesting to get their uh, reactions from said that their initial reaction about AMD making an ARM APU was that it sounded silly. AMD is on top of x86 right now, and at least internally at Intel, they don't think that ARM really gives you an efficiency advantage unless you are operating below 9 to 15 watts, especially if you're running Windows. Having said that, though, this person said that if AMD really is doing this, that they have immense respect for their spirit of innovation, that this would be a risky play that could backfire. You know, you're spending all of this money to make a product that's kind of like opening up a new front in a war where you're already fighting two other fronts against powerful competitors like Intel and NVIDIA. Do you really want to have something where now like Apple and Qualcomm is being directly compared to you and taking you more seriously there instead of just cementing other segments? But the person also said that they could argue that Maybe AMD is just preparing to try and completely take the mobile market over the next 10 years, and that, dang, they really hope Intel hasn't missed the boat on something again. Now, moving on to the final source here, which is really the most important one on this slide, this person said that it's funny that I asked about an ARM APU. Lately, AMD has been asking them to submit to them as many bug reports as they can, even if they're from ARM systems. They said that they even have some ARM Radeon test systems that they were helping them troubleshoot, which I guess is something retailers do. They get these kind of like prototype for base laptops, and then they like use them and say, hey, this thing crashed for this reason. They said that AMD is always really interested in what causes crashes, especially if it's CPU-related crashes in ARM systems. And so there you go. I have to say that final source there... I took that while I was putting together these notes as an additional source outside of AMD that is seemingly backing up that AMD is up to something when it comes to making an ARM APU. And you can bet that last source's quote is something that pushed me over the edge and being extra confident that it was worth leaking this bombshell information today. But, you know, I actually want to close on not that last source, but the middle one, the Intel one, something that that Intel source touched on. Is Intel missing the boat again? 
because Intel missed smartphones, they missed tablets, they missed the GPU boom and then launched GPUs when they should have been launching AI products. So they've effectively missed the AI boom. And then when you look at rumors of NVIDIA also working on ARM APUs, I don't know, it just feels like once again, everybody is designing products for this new market that's supposed to expand a lot in the coming years besides Intel. And I don't know, maybe ARM is overhyped. In fact, I actually kind of think that it is overhyped. Uh, maybe it won't be as big, you know, ARM Windows PCs as Microsoft and Qualcomm are hoping it will be. But what if it is? What if it's even half as big as they're saying? That's still a lot of money to be made. Can Intel really afford to miss out on this? And as I was writing that line there that I just said and wrapping up the notes for this video before I started recording, I actually had a surreal feeling upon realizing that I really didn't have a big section in an AMD APU video leak that would go into how Intel will respond. And that's because Intel just wasn't brought up by my AMD sources for this one. And in fact, Intel rarely came up in conversation with any of the other sources that I talked to. Everyone just said why it would make sense for AMD and why they might want to compete with Apple or Qualcomm. And it's just crazy to think that one of AMD's highest priority projects going on right now is being made and no one's talking about how it will perform against Intel because they don't really care. Who's in the rear view mirror now, Pat?